India has become the only country to refuse support to China's Belt and Road Initiative in the Qingdao Declaration. The 10-page declaration lists the common positions of member states in all of its points, barring one, where it refers to China's Belt and Road Initiative project. There, instead of member states, the six SCO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization members, have reiterated their support to the project, but not India. Chinese President Xi Jinping also laid out an action plan for implementing the Treaty on Cooperation of the Member States. And we have ratified an action plan for implementing the Treaty on Long-Term Good Neighborliness, Friendship and Cooperation of the SEU Member States covering the next five years. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the plenary session at the 18th SEO summit. He laid the emphasis on connectivity with India's neighborhood and SEO member countries. He also touched on terrorism in Afghanistan, among other issues. We are doing a connectivity project which is a सस्टेनेबल और पारदर्शी हो और जो देशों की संप्रभुता और क्षेत्रीय अखंडता का सम्मान करे इस क्षेत्र में कनेक्टिविटी के लिए हमारी प्रतिबद्धता इंटरनेशनल नॉर्थ साउथ ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉरिडोर चाबहार पोर्ट का विकास और अजगबाद एग्रीमेंट जैसे विशिष्ट प्रोजेक्ट्स में हमारी सक्रिय सहभागिता में दिखाई देती है Kyrgyzstan will be hosting the SEO summit next year. Prime Minister Modi has invited Kazakhstan to join the Solar Energy Alliance. India's Ministry of External Affairs has also said that the most important document signed is appealing for youth to stay away from radicalization. Kaurav Sharma now joining us live from uh, Beijing. Got of the fact that India has not signed on to the BRI or is not mentioned in that declaration, that follows from India's foreign policy. The Prime Minister also mentioning there should be connectivity, but sovereignty of countries should be taken care of. Well, Amitabh, uh, I think it was on expected lines. Uh, uh, I think no one is surprised, and I, and I think China is also not taken aback because of the decision of uh, decision by India not to uh, endorse Belt and Road. Because uh, 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 it is on expected lines, you know, in the, uh, earlier in the day also, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that India is all for any connectivity project, uh, but not at the cost of territorial integrity and sovereignty. So it was on expected lines that the, this, this uh, decision was taken uh, by India. In fact, uh, if you remember the foreign, minister, foreign ministerial meet of uh, the SEO, India, uh, I think two months ago, uh, 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 which was attended by Sushma Swaraj. Uh, in that also, in in that joint declaration, India also India stayed clear of uh, the de declaration and did not support BRI. So it was, I would say, it was on expected lines that this uh, decision was taken, and no one should be surprised of that. You know, we we were aware of this. This is going to happen because India has made it clear until uh, till the time you don't uh, China doesn't address our concern. There's no point that we will budge from our position.